Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a fantastic week and today just as I promised on my last video we are going to continue with the story quest to save Anne from Pandoria. On the last episode Katya told the Soul Riders that Concord didn't make it when they captured Anne and we learned from Elizabeth that whenever something happens to one of the guardians they will simply be reborn again and so today our mission is to speak with Rhiannon and find Starbreeds and maybe we will find Concord. Now I have a quest to meet up with Alex at the mountain paddock. It's right above Valadale, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. So that's where I'm going right now. I remember the first time Elizabeth took me up to this place for lessons. As do I, you nearly got my tail burned off. <laughs> oh no, poor Tin Can. I had never been on a horse until fate brought the two of us together, like peanut butter and Vaseline. I don't think that's how it goes, Alex. Don't remind me, Concord had things so much easier with his rider, Anne was a natural equestrian. Yes, because Anne was always doing competitions. It seems that she was a really good rider. Not that I'd want such a strict rider, you are much easier to push around. Keep talking, old timer, I dare you. I love this relationship between Alex and Tinkan, it's so funny. That's what I thought, we don't want to keep Rhiannon waiting. So now I think we are going to speak with Rhiannon and I think she's there in a the paddock. Okay, so let's go over to Rhiannon and talk with her and see what else she can tell us about Starbreeds. Welcome to Starbreed Bootcamp. Hope you had breakfast because it's going to be a long day. My name is Rhiannon and as Elizabeth probably told you, I am a Wild Whisperer. What is a Wild Whisperer anyway, like a talent scout for horses? A Wild Whisperer is someone with a gift for communicating with horses, especially those breeds closest to Aideen found only here on Jorvik. Like how me and Tinkan have total simpatico. Look at me, hey Tinkan, I'm Wild Whispering to you with my outside voice. <laughs> Alex is such a troll. I bet you didn't know a horse could groan. Wild Whisperer nailed it. How do I put this? As a soul rider, your gift is special. A soul rider is fated by Aideen's will to bond with only one horse. You may be one of Aideen's chosen champions, but for this mission, Alex, you are playing backup. But what about Alessia? She has a special bond too with Coralais. This is what I am curious about. I really want to know what is going on with me and Coralace. I really think that we could be the fifth soul rider. Is this true? Do you feel a connection with horses other than Coralace? I feel an intense bond with all horses. I have bonded with many horses. I really only feel a bond with Coralace. I do have more than one horse on my home stables. I have many horses, so I think I'm gonna choose that I have bonded with many horses. I suspected as much, that doesn't mean you are a wild whisperer, but you would have the gift. Okay, that was quick. I thought she was going to ask me more. <laughs> There's so many people over here, I'm trying to film people. Okay, so we have an update on Rhiannon on my journal and I will read that later. Oop, I need to get out of my horse for this one. And let's try and talk with Rhiannon again. I am going to need to work with you and your horse, would you like? Would you mind introducing him to me? Coralace, aren't you a big strong boy? Alessia is lucky to have found someone like you. Take the bag and walk to the other side of the paddock and when you get there, open the bag. Take out one piece of what's inside and eat it. That's a weird exercise. It's powerful druid magic, but if you follow my directions exactly, you will be fine. Probably. Okay, so let's see whatever is this. So it's like a potion. Whatever you do, do not drink all of it. Uh, I think that's too late. <laughs> I'm joking, it's only sugar. Did you think I would poison you? Well... <laughs> now close your eyes. I want you to concentrate on the taste in your mouth. Now think about who else might enjoy some of those tasty sugar cubes. What do you think, Carlace? Don't you wish it was you eating those sugar cubes instead of Alessia? What? This is weird. So, is that a connection? You... You do have the gift. This is a weird exercise. 
You were able to sense correlates because the sugar cubes helped to focus a need. At the moment, you had the thing that correlates craved most, sugar. Looks like correlates as a sweet tooth. It seems my little exercise created a rift between you two. We can have that. What? That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> no need to torture Carlace. Plenty of sugar cubes where they came from. Take this and give your boy a snack. Okay, so maybe he won't be jealous anymore <laughs> because I had some sugar and he didn't. So let's give him some sugar cubes. Okay, I think he loves me again. Glad I could help you to amend your friendship. I don't get it. What does a horse's sweet tooth have to do with wild whispering? Like I said, the sugar cube represented a need. It was a way to help Alessia focus on truly seeing Coralais. Many horses, but star breeds in particular, have a need to find a rider with whom they will bond. That feeling I had when I first met Tinkan, you can see it? Indeed, it is recognizing that need that helps a wild whisper find star breeds. This druid magic is more complex than I ever imagined. The reason why there's so many people over here is because everyone is doing the druid quest, the druid training with Rhiannon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am still stuck with saving Anne from Pandoria, so I have to do this and only then I can start my training. We should do one more test before beginning our search. I am going to ask you to close your eyes again and while they are closed, I am going to set up a little test for you. Go ahead and close them. When I give the word, open your eyes, then use the focus I showed you before. Only this time, instead of thinking of sugar, think about that feeling you had when you first met Coralace. I have no idea what they are talking about. <laughs> okay. It's magic runes on the floor. And what is going on with the sky? Follow the aura before it disappears. Okay. So I think I just have to follow the magical circles on the floor. And that should guide me to one of the star breeds. Oh, I found one. You found a star breed. Okay, is this Concord? No, this was just a test, right? So it can be Concord. That would be too easy. Excellent work. We will make a Wild Whisper out of you yet. So I am not a Wild Whisper. I simply have a gift, but I am not like Rhiannon. Since we are looking for foals, there is no better place to start than Eorvik stables. It's been a while since I visited there. Feel like mucking out stables again for old time's sake? <laughs> Tin Khan is also a troll. <laughs> Perks of being a soul rider, I don't have to clean up anyone's poop, but yours. <laughs> the bond between guardian and soul rider, truly a thing of beauty. I must apologize for my rider, Rhiannon. You're the one that brought it up. Okay, now they are arguing. Right for your big stables, Nyx and I will meet you there. Nyx must be your horse, right? I think that's the name from what I remember. Okay, so the fastest way for me to get to Jorvik stables from here is to get the trailer to the Sunfield farm, I think. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, and here they are. Of all the equestrian centers in all the world, there is no place like Jorvik stables. They honor Aidin here, if not by name, then by spirit. To the outside world, Jorvik stables has no formal ties to the keepers of Edin, but as you know, the owner is quite loyal to our case, so they are talking about Herman. Herman is part of the druids as well. I don't think he's exactly a druid, I think he was a wild whisperer, is that what Elizabeth said? He used to be a wild whisperer, but his powers are slowly disappearing, I think. Not that his training was only used in finding star breeds. Wild Whispers have a special gift for pairing a rider with the right horse. Every stable should have one. Sounds like Justin, doesn't it? Yeah, I do agree, actually. Justin is really good with horses. Justin Moreland, he works at Moreland Stables. Well, at least he did until the whole Mr. Sun's business. All the girls used to say he would find them the perfect horse for the summer. I just assumed his rep was based on silly crushes, but maybe he is a Wild Whisper too. What Alex just said makes total sense. Right now we should find someone to help us with the foals. I seem to remember a young lad named Stein who was close to Ermin. I think that's the guy that gives the daily quests. Yeah, that's him. It's always great to see you at Jorvik stables. What can I do for you? Alex Cloudmill, it has been a while. If you're here for beginner riding lessons, there's a class that starts in half an hour. Don't you start. 
You look familiar, are you a friend of Herman's? That is right, you could say we are colleagues. Any friend of Herman is a friend of mine, I sure hope he's okay. Maybe you could help me, there is a special task that Herman performed here at the stables. Let me guess, that weird thing with the foals? It never made sense to me what he was doing, but the foals always ended up healthier and happier. Oh, he's a nice boy. We do have a few mares who gave birth not long ago, follow me and I'll take you to them. Okay, so they must be on the outside paddock, so I'll just wait here for a while because they are so slow. Alex is already there, she doesn't care, she's like, I'm just gonna go and do my own thing. <laughs> you guys go ahead and do your thing, don't mind me. Okay, so I got the first one, then we have another one over here, so I think it's exactly as like... Where's the other one? <gasps> Where's the other one? I can see it! Oh my gosh, it was on the other side! Okay, <laughs> I have to restart because the rune was on the other side, inside the other paddock and I didn't expect that to happen, <laughs> so I need to restart. I didn't find any foals. Maybe there are no star breeds over here. Is that what it means? This is a fine foal. She will grow up strong. I see the makings of a good show jumper in her, but she is no star breed. What foal? I didn't see a foal over there. When you've done this for as long as I have, your body gets so attuned to star breeds, it's like you can feel it in your bones that there's one nearby. Okay, so we do have a star breed somewhere around here. Thank you for showing us this, but I don't suppose there are any other foals at the stables right now? Joanna took a few mares and their foals down to the lower paddock for exercise. I'll take you to them. To the lower paddock. Alright, oh, I see the big arena. I was getting confused with the lower paddock. Okay, let's try this again. You remember what to do. Follow the aura to its source. I've got a good feeling about this batch. So maybe we will find Concord now, hopefully. Okay, I found a star breed. That could be Concord. It looks a little bit like him, but I think Concord was gray, like whole gray. Do they always come back as they used to be, like before, or can their coats change? That is definitely a star breed. Is it Concord? I'm getting a strong moon feeling from this fella. Oh, moon. Moon is Linda, right? So what becomes of star breeds that don't become guardians? Some are trained in a druid school of riding for use by other members of the Keepers of Edin. Others live their lives, perhaps achieving greatness as a competition horse or just grazing in obscurity. When a star breed finds its perfect match, there can be no stronger bond, Edin's gift. But in the wrong hands, that potential can be corrupted. The dark horses used by Garnock generals were created from star breeds. Oh, that makes sense because they have powers as well. If Concord were to fall into the enemy's hands before he knew his true self, it would be a blow to the forces of light, the likes of which we have not felt since Aedin's passing. Needless to say, your plan to rescue Anne from Pandoria would fall apart. What Rhiannon just said makes me think that maybe the Dark Riders are also looking for Concord, unless they don't know that the Guardians can be reborn again. If they don't know, then Concord is safe for now. We should split up to cover more ground. You and Alex should head east to Moreland Stables. We will meet again tomorrow at the mountain paddock. Okay, so I have to go to Moreland Stables with Alex and look for more foals, I guess. We should check with Maya. Let me do the talking when we get there and follow my lead. Okay, let Alex do the talking. It's always great to see you around Moreland Stables. How can I? Alex! Okay, so it seems they know each other. Good morrow, we have traveled far and our steeds require nourishment. Of course, my lady, at once. And will you be requiring rest as well? I shall prepare our finest beds. They are joking, aren't they? We are out of pheasant. Might I interest you in some hot dogs, my lady? Made from the finest but... <laughs> okay, I get the joke. I get it. You roll your eyes. Okay, I'm rolling my eyes. Is this a social call or are you on magical squirrel business? <clears throat> okay, so Maya is aware of the Soul Riders. Okay, 
There is one thing you could help us with. Believe it or not, the fate of the world hinges on Alessia here seeing all the baby horses. It so happens we have a mare that is really close to giving birth. It's so busy here. Thomas was hoping to get someplace a little quieter for the mama to be. Jasper offered to let us use his old barn. If you to help out, we could have it set up in no time. Uh, Jasper. Alright, I see. So his old house. Before we head over to the barn, I have one itty bitty favor to ask. There's always a favor to ask before a big quest, isn't it? Can I ride Tin Can? Oh, hop on. I was thinking I could ride him by myself. It's okay with you, right, Tinky? It's not every day I get to ride such a majestic horse. Well, when you put it like that. Get down, Alex, and give Maya a turn. Fine, she can borrow you, but only if we make it sporting. I propose a race, Maya and Tinking versus Alessia and Coralace. Why does it have to be me all the time? These guys challenge each other and then I have to do the races for them. That's funny. And I think Alex is riding with me. For moral support, she said. Okay, let's go and race with Maya then. And here we are. So this used to be Jasper's house. Uh, when the game starts, this is where we come to collect the deed for Morland Stables. And this was his house, but now he lives at the pumpkin farm. This place is even more of a dump than I remember. We are going to make it cozy for Mama Halfling and her baby. We can update the fences too and add some nice hay and a place for food and water. If everyone grabbed a hammer, we could do this in no time. So I think we are kind of building a small paddock for the mama mare. Oh, that looks nice actually. And good timing, here comes the mom to be. Okay, so we are going to meet the mama. She's a halfling. They are so cute. These horses are so adorable. They look like tiny ponies. The new pasture is lovely. All the girls at the riding camp are excited to meet the baby. Thank you for helping. What a pretty mama. <laughs> you have a way around horses. Maybe you could help me get the mare situated before the vet shows up. Okay, trying to cuddle the halfling. Oh, she's so adorable. I really want one, but I just cannot decide which one to buy. <laughs> I'll stay here with Maya, come back tomorrow and fingers crossed we will see if we found another star breed. Thank you, you are so kind, I only wish my Justin would be here. Yes, because Justin is still with the druids. The last time we saw Justin, he was taken by the druids and we still don't know where he is. Okay, so we have to wait for tomorrow. I could start a new day, but I don't want the video to be very long. So I'm gonna stop here and this is going to be the end of part 6 and I will post part 7 probably next Saturday. So you guys, thank you so much for watching once again. If you haven't watched my video, the one that I posted on Thursday, then the link is going to be down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you haven't and if you do like my videos then maybe give me a like. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you very soon.